What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in this video I wanted to show you a quick way to create faces along complex and non-coplanar edges. Um, before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give you a start to finish training for SketchUp. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp training to the next level, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so uh, one of my most popular videos actually is about modeling tensile structures using this extension, but I wanted to go ahead and make a video just talking a little bit about soap skin and bubble and what you can do with that in order to create faces along different, uh, um, different complex kinds of shapes. So if you remember when you work in SketchUp, one of the things about the way that it creates faces is it only creates faces along um, coplanar objects. So let's say for example that I was in here and if I draw like a triangle, something like that, everything's on the same plane, it draws a face. So this is a coplanar object. So on the other hand, if I was to come in here and model something more like this object where I have two lines right here and then two lines right here, I have three or more edges, but I don't have a face across these objects because they're not coplanar. Remember, you have to have three or more coplanar faces. So if I was to come in here, for example, and fill this in, then this would create a face. And um, these are flat faces, so it's a little bit different, but the concept is still the same. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about an extension that allows you to create faces along non-coplanar and also really complex different shapes. So we've talked about soap, skin, and bubble before. I will link to some of that in the notes down below as well as a link to download the extension. But basically the way this extension works is it comes in here and it figures your different edges. You have to have three or more edges in a loop and it'll actually generate a face based on that. So if I come in here and select this uh, non-coplanar object that we talked about before and I use soap, skin, and bubble, what that's going to do is that's going to basically use this to figure out a face or to do math to figure out a face. So you can see how when I click skin in here, it kind of found a flat area based on almost the average of these lines. Well, if I hit the enter key, what that's going to do is that's going to add a face in here. And you can see how this is kind of constrained a little bit by a... Um, you can kind of mess around with the bubble and everything else. That's not really what I want to talk about in this video. You can see I was able to easily create a face um, along these different lines. And so you can do that with other shapes as well. So for example, let's say I had a shape like this one. It's basically a whole bunch of straight lines that make up kind of a pair of boxes. I could click on the skin button and then hit the enter key. And you can see how that's going to generate a face based on that. And so that's great for like inflated or tensile structure faces. You can also use it for a situation like this one where I've created a series of points in space. So right now if I was to draw a line across all of these different points in space, you can see how SketchUp wouldn't actually draw a face in here because these are all across, they're all on different planes. Now I could draw a line across here and get a pair of flat faces if I wanted to. That would work fine. But let's say I wanted to create a face that kind of worked along all of these different edges. What I would just, what I would do is I would use soap, skin, and bubble in order to generate that. And I would hit the enter key and you can see how this quickly skins this um, based on these different lines. So this is a good way to come in here and create these really quickly. And then the other thing you can do with these objects that are created with soap, skin, and bubble if you want to is you can actually use the sandbox tools like the smooth tool. Let's say I came in here and I made like a one foot radius or maybe like a four foot radius. You could actually come in here and you could adjust this further using sandbox tools. Now note that you do have to be careful because you can see how this is kind of moving these edges up and down, but it does give you basically a great grid that you can come in and edit further. And so this will work for all different kinds of shapes. Like let's say you had a half circle and a rectangle. You could create a skin along here, or if you had a pair of circles in here, you could also create a skin along here. And so while there's a lot of cool applications for this, I just wanted to give a quick overview of what you could do and how you could cr quickly create these faces so that you had an idea of the power of soap skin. I will also link to more videos about it in the notes down below. 
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Have you been using soap, skin, and bubble? I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.